up everybody, Smooth Cosplayer here, your favorite salsa dancing cosplayer. Y'all, back in April, the Final Fantasy VII Remake finally came out. Y'all, I've thoroughly enjoyed playing the game. Haven't beaten it yet at the time of this uh, video. Might have beaten it by the time it, it drops, I don't know. But anyway, it's been bringing back a lot of good memories for me. So I thought I'd share with you guys a few funny stories involving me and Final Fantasy VII. So let's start from the beginning when I first got the game. Uh, Final Fantasy VII was my first PlayStation game. I got my PlayStation 1 and Final Fantasy VII. Christmas Day of 97, I was uh, in my sophomore year of high school. Yeah, I date myself a little bit. Uh, did not play the game at all that day. Here's why. So the TV that I had at the time, I believe only accepted, it only accepted uh, what I believe is the RFK. Well, I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm getting that, uh, that name right, but it didn't have the ports for the red, yellow, and white cables. And I didn't know at the time that video game systems stopped coming with the RF cable. So I'm looking at the back, I'm like, wait, I can't plug this thing in. So I'm like, crap, I need to go get this cable. And of course I can't get that day. Why? Because it's Christmas Day. Everything closed. So I spent a whole day just looking at the, the instruction manual, smelling the newness of the, of the game, the, the case of the game that I got, all of that. So that's all I could do. So did get to go to Walmart the next day and pick up the proper cable for it, but I also didn't think to ask for a memory card because I this is my first role playing game. I wasn't used to playing games that allowed you the luxury of saving your progress or playing games where you had to save your progress, otherwise you wouldn't beat it at all. So didn't get a memory card that day. So I spent, because I didn't get to get a memory card until I want to say mid-February. So I spent about two months playing the game, every time I played it, just playing for as far as I could get until mom made me go to bed or made me stop and do some kind of chore or whatever. So I think the farthest I ever got in one sitting was all the way to that desert at the bottom of the Golden Saucer that's surrounded by all of the, the quicksand. I think that fight with Barrett and uh, Barrett and Dine, I think that's the farthest I had gotten in one sitting. So yeah, I spent two months just doing that. So I got really good at everything up until that uh, that area. So finally got my memory card. Your boy gets put on punishment the next day. The next day, why? Not because I was failing the class, but because I had like a C at that time in the class. You know, I was a, not a straight A student. Like I was straight A for like most of school until like maybe high school, then I was like A, A's and B's and a C every now and then. So that was my punishment. I couldn't play my PlayStation because I was I had a C currently. Not because I finished the class with a C, but because I had a C at the time. Now my parents made the mistake of letting me keep my PlayStation box in my room. So my PlayStation is sitting in the box next to my TV in my room. Now at the time, you know, I would get home from school, from high school, and uh, neither of my parents would be home from work yet, you know. So it was at least an hour, hour and a half before my mom would ever get home. And at the time, my mom's car had, um, the brakes were starting to go bad, so you could hear that squealing sound as she was pulling in. So what I started doing was I would leave the, um, the connections hooked up in the back of the TV. And whenever I heard that screeching, I would just, you know, Take, take that L, whatever progress I had made since my last save, it was gone, I had to just accept that. Um, shut it off, take it out, throw it in the box, I'm good. Because I could do that between the time that I heard those breaks and the time that she got in the house. So yeah, that was my Final Fantasy VII experience with uh, when I first got the game. Couldn't play it the first day. Uh, once I did get, uh, was I, once I was able to play it the next day, didn't have a memory card. Spent two months playing it without a memory card. So that was um, to to a young high schooler uh, playing video games. That was torture. So now I, you know I would eventually play and beat it. Final Fantasy VII is the only Final Fantasy that I have played and beaten multiple times. The other ones I just kind of hit and quit them. Um, now. Another funny story here, this one uh, many, many years later uh, in adulthood, I am, I want to say this was maybe 2010, 2011 maybe. Now, this was during a time where my car was in the shop more than it was on the road. So um, I'm riding the bus home from work. By the time I get home, it's, you know, it's dark outside. It's, it's, this is, it's during the winter time. So daylight savings is already kicked in. So sun has already, already gone down. 
cold outside, I'm walking through my neighborhood to, to my apartment, and I take a shortcut to my apartment. Now this shortcut is, to my left is the, uh, is the tennis court by the, by the, um, by the leasing office. And to the right is a patch of woods, but it's not like a big patch of woods. Like you can see through the woods to uh, where my apart, where some other apartment buildings are in that same complex. So normally I just cut through there, uh, cut, cut through that little area and get to my apartment. Now, I'm currently listening to my miscellaneous playlist on my iPhone, which you know just has video game soundtrack music, um, uh, wrestling theme songs, theme songs from cartoons, all that kind of stuff. So, I, so the One Wing Angel comes on, right? Uh, the, the you know Sephiroth theme from when you beat the beat him at the end of the game. But at the same time, right the moment that it comes on, all the lights in the complex go off, right? So it's pitch dark outside. Now, so imagine this. The mo and this is the moment I step into the woods. The exact moment that I step into the woods. So right with that moment, lights go out, one wing major comes on. So just imagine this happening. I was a horror movie fan and the fact that I knew where this music came from that helped me keep my composure but I felt like anybody else if that would have happened to anybody else that would have freaked them the heck out I will come to find out later on that it was just a power outage in the uh, in the neighborhood but yeah like you could not have planned that any better like if I had tried to make it happen it would never it wouldn't have happened so good like it was just it, again it would have freaked anybody else out so yeah um, that's it, y'all. Yeah, that, those are some funny stories uh, involving me and my relationship with Final Fantasy VII. Uh, big shout out to anybody else who's a Final Fantasy, uh, Final Fantasy fan there. I love the game. I love all the friendships I've gotten as a result of playing a game. You know, who, who would think that would happen? Anyway, that's it. Y'all have a good day. Y'all have a good time. Whatever car you're going to next, good luck on your cosplay bills. Please hit that like button, that subscribe button, that share button. Leave me a few comments. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.